So what we thought we would do to begin is play through the old standard that many of you know, Have You Met Miss Jones? Good jam session tune. One of the things that I like to do, which you also do, is kind of deconstruct chords into smaller shapes, double stops, maybe triads. But the idea that rather than playing all six strings, if we're playing smaller chord shapes, Jimmy Weibel did this so beautifully and other guitar players as well, you can actually get a quite full accompaniment simply moving double stops with voice leading if there's intention and direction in your melody. When I play in one position, uh, it can be this position or this or that, uh, all, all the positions. We have all the notes of the chromatic scale in each and every position. So of it's course. possible to play, I always tell my, to my students, it's possible to play the whole music in one, in one position. Even something as simple as playing something a half step above. So I'm just taking that F major. something as simple as that, just moving a half step above or below something with an existing shape yeah. gives you a fair amount of movement. Joe Pass yeah. did that all the time yeah. in his chord solos, West yeah. Montgomery too, sometimes yeah. simply, simply taking a shape yeah. and moving either up chromatically or down chromatically to yeah. that shape gives you some movement. Just play, for example, whole notes in one voice and half notes in, in the other voice, something like... Mm -hmm. In terms of the rhythmic component, yeah. I would agree, put, put specific limitations on yourself yeah. to begin to develop this concept. Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. I mean, it's probably the best idea to start just, the, just with the chord notes in order to mm -hmm. hear the harmony as it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you can, you can mm -hmm. build upon that and you, can, and you can discover all of those nice tensions and so on. Le leaving space. Even alone, you can imply the time and least some space, even if yeah. you're playing alone, as we both yeah. did, but especially if you're playing with other musicians, yeah. allowing some space to exist in your playing opens up the conversation and creates a dialogue that's not possible if we're filling all the space up. Yes. So listening to singers and horn players to get a notion of how to use space in a creative way, the space is used in a very deliberate way to define the phrases and open up the conversation. Yeah. Yes. Start on the three. And some six is normally minor, but again, we're very often making a dominant, or I might even start on a flat six. Yeah, yeah moving so chromatically. I don't necessarily. Mm -hmm. and so forth and you're doing yeah. it too so yeah. the point being some of those phrases are three beats long they're five beats long yes. now to do that successfully in our heads the literal version of the chart is still going by 